hi friends welcome back hope you all are doing good in today's class i'll explain about infrastructure observability in dynatrace so for demonstration purpose in my laptop i have installed the dynatrace one agent let me show you that first i'll go to control panel click on programs then click on uninstall program so you are able to see the agent right dynatrace one agent is installed on this machine now i would like to see all the informations associated with this particular laptop it could be cpu memory or any problem all the information should be i want to capture in the dynatrace console since i have installed the dynatrace one agent here it will collect all the information and give it back to the dynatrace console where you can see the information for a servers so in the search bar type host and you will find an option called hosts click on that so in this particular panel you are going to see wherever the dynatrace one agent is installed it could be a windows machine it could be a linux machine it is supporting for all the operating systems since it is a demo class you are able to see only one machine for example if you have thousands of servers also you are able to see all those informations right now i have only one machine here and again here you are you are finding an options called quick filter you are going to filter it out based on the requirement if i scroll down you can see it operating system right now uh, i have only one server that is windows you are able to see windows option likewise if i am monitoring linux machine also you are able to see that linux option also below here in the technology bar you are going to see what other technologies were available it could be citrix it could be sql it could be nutanix or vmware whatever all the technologies whatever present you are going to see it in this particular technology tab uh, i am in the host tab and you are able to see the high level information here for example host name is this one and operating system is this one it is a physical host and then current cpu utilization memory utilization and what is the disk latency and finally network topic so this is a high level overview if you would like to see the in detail information just click on that host it will prompt to the next page where you are going to see all the details in a broader manner so i just clicked on host it is opening the new page okay just wait for one second yeah so once it is open the new page this is how it looks like so on top you are able to see the it is my laptop name okay and below you are able to see monitoring mode in case of dynatrace we have two monitoring mode one is full stack okay another one is infrastructure monitoring mode in case of full stack its cost is high compared to the infrastructure mode or you are able to capture lot more details in case of full stack monitoring and next here you are seeing the uptime so my laptop is up from the last 1.73 hours and cpu utilization available memory and network okay along with that if you see at the right hand side you are able to see all this information in the detailed manner it could be a incoming connection outgoing connection host performance process analysis and disk analysis network analysis memory analysis events logs and finally source you are going to get the detailed information all of those for example if i click on incoming connection you are able to see that particular information here since it is a demo environment my machine is not connected to any other servers or applications so you are not seeing the incoming and outgoing connection but in the real environment you are going to see the data here likewise if i come to the second option that is host performance you are able to see the cpu utilization this is the tab cpu utilization and here you are seeing the memory utilization it is not only fixed for the cpu usage or a memory usage if you would like to change it for other things also you can just click on this option and you are able to see the lot many things here it could be a cpu usage phase limit swap usage disk latency iops disk space usage so depending on the requirement you are able to see all the options here uh, by default it will give with the cpu usage we will see in detail in that whatever they are given you are able to see few more information here it is like a cpu idle state cpu user and finally cpu system it means what percent of cpu is used by the system that is 2.89 percent and then what percent of users are using the cpu and then finally cpu idle idle is nothing but that cpu is not using by anyone 
that's what you are seeing it here all right you are able to see the memory usage so total memory of this particular machine is 4 gb in that one memory reclaimable is 1.18 gb memory used is 2.76 and kernel memory is zero what is memory reclaimable reclaimable is nothing but at this moment few applications were using the memory that we call it as a reclaimable memory once that application is closed then that memory will be released that time the memory count will be decreased here right now it is 1.18 but at the later point of time if you close that application it will reduce so here also you will see other options also here like page pulse swap usage disk latency many more things for example if i click on disk space usage so you are going to get the disk related informations okay so 71.7 percent disk is used at this moment right likewise if i come down you are able to see the other options like traffic or a disk throughput so it is not only for at a, at a particular moment you are able to see the historical information also right so you are able to see at this moment what is the disk write and disk read at 2024 620 11 o'clock to 11 o'clock one minute likewise if i scroll little right you are able to see at 11 32 to 11 33 what is the uh, disk throughput likewise you can get the detailed information from the previous uh, things also not only at this particular moment you are able to get the history also here if i come down i just clicked on this process analysis it is going to display what all are the processes are running at this moment and what is the contribution of cpu and memory usage for all of those so right now all these processes are running my environment like microsoft edge screenfall uh, that is nothing but our recorder screen recorder whatever i am doing right now then dynatrace one agent windows system likewise for the memory also what is the memory usage for all of those process you are able to see for example if i click on any one of the option here so you will see the detailed information microsoft edge consuming the cpu of 28 percent likewise dynatrace one agent consuming 24.8 percent windows system 2.08 percent likewise you are going to get all the processes whatever running at this moment so you can compare the same thing inside the task manager also if i click on task manager then i click on processes you are able to see the same process here also screen recorder is there and then microsoft edge is there dynatrace is there likewise whatever present here same information will be captured so now i will go to the next tab that is disk analysis in case of disk analysis what is the total disk uh, size that is 465 gb in that one right now 230 gb is available rest is already used what is the used disk that is 226 so like that you can get the information here now if i come down and if, if you want to see the throughput related information also yes you can see that what is the disk write bytes per second or a disk read bytes per second and even iops also available here so again we will get the individual information here for example c drive e drive f drive right in case of c drive 192 gb is total in that one 160 gb is available and 32 is used then you will get the disk write information also here if you want further more investigation if you want to do just click on this detailed option you are going to get all the information in the graphical manner likewise if i come down it is same for the memory analysis also so what is the memory usage at this particular moment you are going to get it here then if i click on the events you are going to get the event details when the process is crashed if any service is restarted, if any service is stopped all those details whatever the events get generated you are going to get that information here for example right now we have only one here that is process crashed then i'll click on the logs so you are going to get the detailed information of logs here so log sources is nothing but from where that logs is coming and inside this log run query you are going to get complete detail, detailed information and you can segregate however you want you can create the new metric or you can create the dashboard by using that logs you can do that so this is all about the infrastructure observability particularly for the host hope the session is useful for you guys thank you so much for watching bye for now